let's take a look at some functionality that will help sound designers in New Windows 7. Being able to align audio for video elements is very important. Nuendo has something called the edit mode found in the transport menu. When this is activated, anytime that an audio event is moved in the timeline, we could actually see the video represent exactly where that audio event is occurring. So if I want this event to occur right as the knife is going through the envelope, I could just simply place that. Now it's not just for placement, but also for fade ins or choosing the start or end or fade out to transition between different scenes you could do. So it makes aligning your audio for video very, very simple. Now when we look at different sound effects, I uh, realize that a lot of times sound effects will be layered to create more impact. So if we wanted to look at a particular scene here, Let's say with that gunshot, and there's actually multiple sound effects that are layered together. So with the gunshot is actually comprised of. And this last sound. So those five sounds make up the gunshot sound. Now if I wanted that same gunshot sound to be used repeatedly in a project or other projects, and I don't want to import those five different sound files independently. What I could do is just simply export these as what's called a clip package. At that point, it could contain the relationship of those five files with their time placement. So I could just import one single clip package and be able to have access to it uh, directly in any project. Working with sound effects libraries could be daunting because it could be hundreds of thousands of files and being able to find all of those different elements can be difficult. So within our media menu, we could just access our media bay. Now, when you first open up media bay, you can actually, if you go to the lower left-hand corner, you can pick and choose exactly which components you want visible. Uh, so it's this lower left-hand corner. And one that's real important to be aware of is the defined locations, which may not be on. Here you see a directory tree of all of the hard drives that are on your system or on your network so that you could have access to files. Now, the media bay doesn't scan for every single file. It's not going to look for picture files or spreadsheets. It looks for stuff that's relevant to your Nuendo production, like audio files, clip packages, MIDI loops, patterns, track presets, plugin presets, projects. And you could actually, again, pick and choose what folders for it to look into and what folders it shouldn't look into. And one of the great things is if you find yourself going to a particular folder, like maybe a sound effects folder that you are kind of your go-to sounds, you could add that select it here in your tree, add it, and then you could just simply jump back and forth between defined locations. Now, Nuendo will come with a, a sound effects library as well, so you get a lot of great sounds in there. This side, we can see in the center, we can now just audition your different sound effects, and you could choose to play them from any point just by clicking. You could also take just a portion and loop that file if you want to, and you could search very easily. So if you're looking for doors, just come in here, type in door, and now you could find all your different door sound effects. Or if you're looking for animal, you could just kind of keep searching by what you type in. Now you can also, on the right-hand side, have metadata here. So you can have a tremendous amount of fields that you can have visible. Uh, but if for some reason one of the fields isn't included, what you're able to do is to actually define your own metadata fields directly within the program. Now this has also been incorporated on the right hand side. So if you go to your setup window here, you could actually choose to have the racks visible or not visible right there. And if I wanted to just take my audio files, we could just preview them. directly here. And if I wanted a portion of the file, I could select just that portion of the file and then just drag that into my timeline. Now, if I have that portion of the file selected and I realize maybe I 
you know, wasn't as accurate as possible. If you hold down the alt and shift key, you can actually just slip the audio within the event itself. So even if there's like a fade in or we've enhanced the gain here, we could just simply have that placement so you could easily find the exact file that you're looking for. Now, many times you may run into situations where you've used a sound effect and you're like very happy with that sound effect. And let's say we've duplicated it. Uh, and at this point, maybe it's like, okay, I used the wrong gunshot or the wrong door sound, but I've used this sound effect, let's say a hundred times in my project. All I would have to do if I wanted to replace the sound is just come right here and hold down a shift key and it'll ask me if I want to actually replace all the sounds with the new material. So I'll say yes, and it's taken every one of the old sound effects and replaced it automatically and kept the length the same on our new sound effects. So if you have to replace multiple sound effects, just drag and drop, hold down the shift key directly over another file. Now, if you wanted to quickly do like something simple like transposition, I wanted to come here. I have this sound and I just want to be able to transpose it. We could just select the event, go into our transpose value here in our timeline, and without having to process it, we could just say, okay, now we're transposed it down an octave. Or I wanted to transpose it down two octaves. It's that simple. Now there's a number of offline processes that we could do. And while a lot of programs, these are considered destructive, with these offline processes, what I could do is actually just go to, I could even select just a range of my files here. So I'll grab my range selection tool. We'll select that range. I'll sneak down here to my processes. And let's say, okay, I just wanted to do a fade out. Uh, and again, I could have my own uh, stereotypical fades, or if I wanted to make my own fade outs, we could do that. So I processed that fade out. Let's say now I want to do another process that reverses this. So we could reverse that file and or just that portion of the file. And let's say I wanted to run it through something like a plugin. Um, one of the great plugins that's included with Nuendo 7 is a Quadrifuzz. It's a multi-band distortion plugin and you could have delays on different bands. So you could preview what, what it would sound like or just process it. Uh, at this point, I wanted to do one more process and let's say I want this to do pitch shifting directly here. And here I could set my ranges. I could do a straight transposition or I could do an envelope where I could do my range of semitones. So I could have that handled right there. And let's say at this point I'm done editing. I've stored a project. I've uploaded on a network or I've given it to someone else via a hard drive. And they didn't like my particular processing that I've done. We can now come over here and go to the offline process history. So I can see here's my fade out, the reverse, the Quadrifuzz plugin, and this works with any VST plugin, my pitch shifting. And let's say they just wanted to get rid of the reverse. So instead of having to a straight linear undo history, I could remove just a reverse without affecting the fade out, the Quadrifuzz, or the pitch shift. So I'm going to remove that. And what we have now is those different effect chains and that's even after saving the project now if you find that you have particular processing for different projects where you use the same chain you can now save this as a batch so we could say okay this is great for bomb sounds and that's my batch process that i could call up at any time so as you can see, whether it's placing sound for audio, being able to find your media files, being able to quickly replace them, or being able to do great processing capabilities or pitch shifting and batch processing with offline process history, Nuendo 7 is a great tool for sound designers.